False plant. False plant. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our first golf clap of the day goes to Jake Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, the great and powerful thief of them all. As Jake Paul and most valuable productions rips the rig fight claims of Mike Tyson's bout with him on Netflix. And you want to know something? I could sit here and I can say whatever I really want to say about Jake Paul, which you guys have heard many, 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 many times. But here's the reason why I'm going to give him the golf, golf clap of the day. is because Jake Paul is not only full of crap, he must believe in all the crap he is absolutely stepping in. For the fact that he comes out and says, well, guess what? His promotional team says rigging a professional boxing match is a federal crime in the United States. We wouldn't rig something like that and put ourselves in harm's way. Really? Well, guess what? If you actually watch the replay of the first round, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Tyson was holding back on throwing haymakers. Just watch it. I, we don't even have it. Go watch the bout again. Okay, and I'm going to tell you this right now. Mike Tyson wasn't 100% healthy. His knee wasn't 100% healthy. He had an ulcer. He was bleeding. He was bleeding. It was inside. He was he lost like uh, I forget how much blood. He almost died five months before uh, the fight. He he was really really bad, and, and nobody was really speaking about how bad he really was. He was in the hospital for almost a month. He lost a lot of blood. But the fact is, this is all about money. This is all about money. Mike Tyson made $20 million to step in a ring for eight rounds, two-minute rounds with this idiot, this fool, okay? And for him to sit there with his promotional team, MVP, and say that this wasn't planned, this wasn't rigged, is an absolute joke. This man is a complete a joke. You want to fight Conor McGregor? Go right ahead. Go fight whoever you want. You're never going to fight Canelo Alvarez. You're a peewee. And to sit here and say with your brother spraying that stupid crap all over you, yeah, you, maybe you need to spray it on something else on your lower cavity, okay? Because it probably doesn't grow with the beautiful woman you walk on the stage with. I mean, by the way, he, that was the only thing I wanted to look at was the woman that he was walking out with. Everything else, I could give a crap. That bullshit. Yes, you've heard it. I'm going to say it. That bullshit of a fight was absolute crap. And yes, I'm going to give it the golf clap because you know what? It's not even worth it. It's not worth it. MVP should not be coming out and saying that that was it was false. It's not rigged. It was never rigged. For the fact that, and I'm going to tell you this right now. Mike Tyson has a podcast. Give it a couple of months. Mike Tyson will come out with the truth. I wouldn't say. I, I wouldn't say a couple of months. I, I don't know, but he will come out with the truth. Trust there's, me. There's obviously a deal that they 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 had in, in what it was because if if you literally look at it when in in the first two rounds and then afterwards he was like pulling punches like it literally like you can go look at the footage and you can go look at everything he was pulling punches when he could have literally destroyed him in whatever and the one glaring moment of that aspect is when they got entwined and Jake must have said something like don't hit me don't do anything and Tyson tapped him on the back like I got you that was in the yeah. first round by the way that was yeah. in the first round and you're yeah. you're gonna make your money I get it but at the same time it it was a money grab that's that's literally at the end of the day he's a great marketer we've said that mm -hmm. and he's great at what he does but don't think that you're a great boxer because you're not you literally lost your one true definite fight to fury and he's not even that great either but he's an actual boxer boxer yep he's a it, boxer it, it's hard. and he's not 60 years old i honestly sit here and i feel bad but, but here's the thing if you know the the story behind everything it had to go eight rounds if mike tyson didn't go eight rounds, he would not have won that $20 million. It had to go eight rounds. It had to go to decision. Go look. I mean, the contracts would say it. It said it. If Mike Tyson knocked him down or knocked him out or Jake Paul knocked him out and knocked him down, anywhere in the middle of rounds, it, they would have gotten a significant, le significantly less money. So the contract says it. Go look at the contract. You can find the contract online, ladies and gentlemen. You can look at the contract. 
in the contract states that it had to go to decision. It had to go eight rounds for Mike Tyson to get his 20 million and Jake Paul to get his 40 million. So right. for all you Jake Paul fans sitting here and saying that it's not rigged and all that other stuff, it was rigged. It was always rigged. Every one of his fights besides the Fury fight was rigged. Every one of them. And I feel bad for Nate Robinson because that wasn't rigged. That was just but, but, uh, the UFC fighters that he fought, the fat blob, I, uh, I the wrestler. I, I mean, honestly, he, that wasn't rigged. But, I mean, they're not fighters. But, uh, you know, the I forget what his name is, uh, the 170-pound uh, champion. Teron Woodley. Yeah, Woodley. That, the, he dropped his hands. If you watch that fight when he got knocked down and he fell down like a ton of bricks, when he threw that punch, go watch it again. His hands dipped when he got hit with that. So, and he got a watch before the fight. He got like a, a $20,000 Rolex that he gave him for that second fight to be knocked out. So for all you fans out there that believe that Jake Paul is a good boxer, he's a power punch. Yeah, he has a good right hand. If, if he fought anybody that knew what he was doing, he would never beat. If he fights Canelo, 20 seconds, knockout. So ladies and gentlemen, our first golf lap of the week or the day goes to Jake Paul. Golf clap. Golf clap. Thank you, Jake, for giving us our first golf club.